Hold on just a second. It's going to really be worth it. Be camera. In 2008, the world was given one of television's most revered series that followed a down-on-his-luck, hard-headed chemistry teacher turned meth kingpin. I am the one who knocks. For five years, Breaking Bad dominated ratings and earned over 110 awards and 262 nominations, becoming almost as successful as Walter White's supply of the blue stuff itself. Tight, 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 yeah! Since the show ended, did its impressive cast move on from sordid storylines of meth and deception or did their careers meet the same fate as Heisenberg's? This episode of Where Are They Now? aims to answer that question. Brian Cranston, Walter White. After hanging up his Heisenberg hat, Cranston left Walter White behind for more wholesome opportunities on How I Met Your Mother and 2014's Godzilla. Keeping as busy as his meth-slinging alter ego once did, Cranston lent his voice for roles including Titanium Rex in Supermansion, Lee in Kung Fu Panda 3, the 2018 film Isle of Dogs, and various roles on Robot Chicken. You shall not his recent big screen roles have included Zordon in the Power Rangers film, Why Him, Last Flag Flying, and Untouchable. Though the bulk of his attention came from Breaking Bad, Cranston has since earned nominations for All the Way and Trumbo, and even published his own best-selling memoir, A Life in Parts. Anna Gunn, Skylar White not all the Breaking Bad alumni seem to have found regular roles after the show's end. Anna Gunn, the actress behind one of Breaking Bad's most despised characters, Skylar White, Whoa, excuse me? jumped from comedy to drama in a series of guest spots, including recurring roles in the television miniseries Grace Point, playing Detective Ellie Miller. In 2015, she made an appearance in Criminal Minds as Lily Lambert, but was shunned from the Criminal Minds Beyond Borders spinoff and forced to move on to other projects. Gunn's appearances in Portlandia, Sully, and the made-for-TV movie Chunk and Bean were keeping her as busy as possible, but her joining the cast of Jennifer Lopez's Shades of Blue for the show's second season may be her biggest role in a while. If her recently released Breaking Bad audition tape has anything to say, it's that we're not quite ready to let go of the actress behind Skylar White. R.J. Mitty, Walt Flynn Jr. R.J. Mitty played the breakfast-loving Walt Jr. After Bad's end in 2013, Mitty continued his acting career by joining in on the third season of ABC Family's Switched at Birth as Campbell Bingman. Breaking out of his acting career, Mitty utilized his boyish good looks for photo shoots with Dark Beauty Magazine, Gap, and even made his way down the 2015 Vivian Westwood fashion show in Milan. Though mostly quiet, the actor's career picked up a little with roles in The Recall, Dixieland, and a leading role in Who's Driving Doug, alongside YouTube's own Ray William Johnson. In early 2017, Mitty took the stage at the Pitt Program Council event, Overcoming Adversity, Turning a Disadvantage to an Advantage, to discuss disability in television and took part in a bass fishing tournament to benefit children with cerebral palsy. Aaron Paul, Jesse Pinkman, after playing the conflicted partner of Walter White, Jesse Pinkman, Aaron Paul's career continued steadily with roles in the film adaptation of Need for Speed and Ridley Scott's Exodus, Gods and Kings. The award-winning actor has provided his voice for episodes of Robot Chicken, Tron Uprising, and Kingsclave Final Fantasy XV, while also providing his complete presence alongside Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart in Central Intelligence, as well as in Come and Find Me and The Ninth Life of Louis Drax. Paul's most recent exploits continued with ongoing series The Path and BoJack Horseman, which he also serves as producer and executive producer. Continuing with lucrative trades, the former meth dealer is scheduled to portray Jack Daniels in the TV drama Blood and Whiskey. For those who want a daily dose of Aaron, be sure to follow him on Twitter at AaronPaul underscore 8. Dean Norris, Hank Schrader after Walter's brother-in-law and DEA agent Hank Schrader kicked the bucket towards the end of Breaking Bad, Do what you're gonna do. Dean Norris has found his calling as a bit part actor on the big screen. Appearing in movies like Remember, Secret in Their Eyes, and The Book of Henry, Norris's acting career has seen more action in television, with recurring roles in Under the Dome, Sons of Liberty, Sophia the First, and The Big Bang Theory. He's far from fading from the spotlight, however, as he's featured in Fist Fight, 2017's Death Wish, High Wire Act, and is set to be a regular on TNT's darkly comedic drama series, Claws. Betsy Brandt, Marie Schrader. 
Former Daily Bugle editor Betty Brandt. Excuse me? Uh, I mean, current rising star Betsy Brandt portrayed Skylar's kleptomaniac, albeit supportive sister and wife of Hank, and went on to have an expansive career on the small screen. Her television exploits include major roles in The Michael J. Fox Show, Masters of Sex, Parenthood, and most recently, that of Heather in CBS's Life in Pieces, alongside James Brolin, Colin Hanks, and Diane Weist. On the silver screen, Brandt's presence has been pretty small, with her latest production, Between Us, and Claire in Motion receiving little traction. Bob Odenkirk, Saul Goodman. When we last saw fast-talking con lawyer Saul Goodman, we were left wondering what would come of his new life. Thankfully, Odenkirk returned for AMC's Breaking Bad spinoff, Better Call Saul. Aside from starring in that, he's also popped up here and there for recurring roles in The Birthday Boys with Bob and David and Comedy Bang Bang. His recent theatrical appearances have included an uncredited role in Movie 43, Freaks of Nature, and Helen Beck. Odenkirk served as actor, writer, and producer for Netflix's 2017 film, Girlfriend's Day. Jonathan Banks, Mike Ehrmantraut. First appearing in season two of Breaking Bad, Saul Goodman sent me. Actor Jonathan Banks played the ill-tempered ex-cop Mike Ehrmantraut. After his run on the show came to an end, Let me die in peace. Banks displayed as many talents and range as an actor by appearing as cameos and recurring characters in television series such as Community, Axe Cop, and The Lizzie Borden Chronicles. On the big screen, the former Breaking Bad star continued to delight as Detective Hatcher in Horrible Bosses 2. In 2015, Banks joined Bob Odenkirk in the spin-off series to Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, where he was nominated for an Emmy for his role as Mike Ehrmantraut. <laughs>